you would think devoting the entire summer to creating LEGO machines would yield several videos. I've grown hungry for video making as a result and intend to use most of my summer creating machines. Bruh. And if I were to upload a less than astonishing machine from June and a big machine that was sadly too finicky to finish, I would have succeeded. But given the 10th anniversary of the LEGO machine community on YouTube, sparse uploading has become a trade off for maintaining an innovative portfolio. That's why I'm sharing my coolest creation today on LEGO Machine Day alongside four more creators using the holiday to energize the community. That being said, binge on the new uploads from LEGO Wiz 777, Basketballer 99, Lucas Jensen, and Legato Studios, formerly LEGO Studios, after I serve up this video. Oh, and make sure to check out my TEDx talk if you haven't. The three-in-one masterpiece combines finger-licking chicken drumsticks, personal pan pizzas, and Taco Bell's underrated nacho fries for a tribute to Yum! Brands and all the good they have done for Astonishing Studios. Since the recipe supposedly leaked online, I've been making my own KFC courtesy of healthy junk food. Then I coated party sized drumsticks in the mixture and marinated them in buttermilk overnight. Next, I recoated the drumsticks in another batch of herbs and spices, this time with flour mixed in. So, okay, B, get away from me. I'm waiting for the oil to boil so we can finally put in the chicken and start bubbling. Yeah, now we're getting some crack lacking. Oh, it's reaching ravenous o'clock, let me tell you that. All right, let's go in. If you try paying with coins smaller than two euros, they are rejected by, ooh, golly, ooh, <sighs> let me try that again. If you try paying with coins smaller than two euros, they are rejected by the sleek coin system. My brother, Max, designed this feature and deserves the credit despite years of ghost producing features on the channel. Two euro coins pass the rejection area to proceed between a light dependent resistor and an LED, causing the light sensor to sense a moment of darkness and recognize two euros when inserted. The tray remains locked because the pizza costs a coin more. Upon triggering the light sensor again, a motor unlocks a lever letting the tray glide open. Upon closing it, a series of slopes prevent the tray from reopening for free pizza. That is not good.
This next one goes out to the curious international viewers. Typically, nacho fries are served with cheese sauce, but I abandoned the dip because I believe the fry seasoning is bold enough. The machine features a compact two combination safe mechanism courtesy of JD Brick Productions safe tutorial video. By turning it to the first value, counterclockwise to red, the frontmost wheel spins the backmost wheel to strategically reveal a gap. The second value, clockwise to green, reveals a gap in the frontmost wheel next to the prior gap, allotting just enough space for the deadbolt to fall between the gap on one side and unlock the coin tray on the other. If a customer inserts 4 euros and for some unrelatable reason does not crave pizza, he can mix and match between the other options. The change is powered by a slider crank mechanism. The motor is programmed to move the tray more than a rotation, allowing it to reload and dispense despite position and friction. The pizza module is surprisingly shallow, which is accomplished with treads that hold up future pizza boxes upon extension and curl beneath the machine upon retraction. I can't end the video having dispensed just one tangible pizza this entire time, so how about a second? Today, the day I'm filming this marks a special occasion because it's the first time I'll be meeting Caleb of Legato Studios face to face. Let's see how he takes to this food after it's brushed across Lego bricks more times than I can count. Hey Caleb. What's up dude? I brought dinner. I suggest the fries, they're pretty good. All right. These are actually not bad. I hope I astonished you like my username aims to and would appreciate if you subscribe in exchange. Special thanks to Nipe Nipe and Basketballer99 for inspiring this creation and a gigantic thanks to my fellow creators partaking in LEGO Machine Day. Although I am fortunate to have a large following, these guys deliver with engineering skills I have yet to master. Their linked videos do not disappoint, so check them out.